where did you, how did you get your start? Where are you from? How did you get out here? I was an East Coast boy from a very standard New York Jewish background, went to Ivy League schools, and decided I, the best thing to be a writer was to come to Hollywood and write screenplays, which I did. Uh, and then I, you know, I did right after getting out of graduate school. And you you wrote uh, Scenes from a Mall, oh, yeah. Paul, Paul Masursky, and uh, that's Bette Midler and Woody Allen? Yeah, yeah, I wrote... Uh, Were you on set for that one, by the oh, way? Oh, sure, yeah. That, yeah. How oh, was that? That, one, that was fascinating, because that was right when uh, when uh, Woody was starting up with Soon Yi. <laughs> it must have been a But we lovely... didn't realize, you know, we didn't know it, of course, because, you know, you wouldn't have dreamed it. No. <laughs> so, I mean, we were ignorant, but he would always disappear into his trailer like wham, right? Right. You know, I, you know I, are we done yet? And he'd go. Right. <laughs> Where'd the guy go? Well, now we, we knew shortly there. That, uh, how old was Soon Yi at the time, and how weird is that? Um, young and weird. Young and Young weird. and very. Let me ask you something. <laughs> And on, on just the weirdo meter, Roger, from a guy who's been around this town as long as you've been around and seen what you've seen, right. on the weirdo meter, uh, Woody Allen, Soon Yi, that situation, mm. which is essentially he ends up having sex with and then marrying his adopted daughter, right. correct? Mm. Which correct. is Mia Farrow's adopted daughter? Mia, or Mia's. It was really Mia's. Mia, so, right. So he sort of interfered in that. You know, right. this is all semantics, of course, because he, he had promised to be the father to them. Got to be, as a, and now he was not married to Mia Farrow at the time, but they were just long time right. the partners. Yeah, or domestic whatever. partners. Yeah. And speaking of partners, all right, so on the weirdo meter, right. the, the Woody Allen Sunyi thing, right. Or and, and imagine, by the way, this that's a good fifteen years old now, right? Sure. I mean, if yeah. that had happened in today's TMZ world, it would have been a Tiger Woods times times ten, right? Oh, huge! Yeah. Uh, of course, but, Woody isn't what he was then either. Woody, right. Woody at that particular point was like king of the world in terms right. of film. Uh, now that versus, um, I'm trying to think of the uh, Liberace. Getting his young boyfriend plastic <laughs> surgery to look like Liberace so that he could essentially F a 21 year old version of himself. Okay. On the weir mean, weirdo I, meter. I, that's a. I, you you know, give it to Liberace. I give it to Liberace. Okay. I mean, I mean Liber actually, though, Woody was a bigger star than Liberace. I mean, Woody was the most famous movie director slash comic in the world. When it, but on the weirdo meter. On the weirdo meter, exclusively nothing uh, weirds with Liberace. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's like, whoa. He <laughs> got himself a like 21 year old boyfriend and started getting him plastic surgery so it looked like him. Right. And then he could F himself. I mean, act, act, you know, Woody is very high on the, I, you know, the like bad taste meter in this right. rather than the weirdo meter. Because what it did was he, he was like an aging guy who wanted to make it with a young Asian chick. Right. right. Now, how many guys are like that? Come on. Oh, hold on. My hand <laughs> just came up. Yeah. yeah lots right. of hands. So sure. He, he, yeah. So, that's right. So it's not so much weird as it's really the wrong one. He picked the wrong Asian chick. Right. But other than that, he, yeah. was, he, he was spot on with the young Asian <laughs> chick thing. So guys yeah, are going home pretty normal, right? Yeah, that's not that. so weird. Yeah, I agree with you. All right, so we'll give the Liberace on that one. Mm -hmm. Now, and that was also, as I remember, scenes from a mall. I remember this is Woody Allen doing an acting gig yeah. that's not a Woody Allen it was joint. The first, yeah, it was the first one he had done in about 15 years at that point. So I felt like I was pretty hot shit because you got he Woody picked Allen my script, you know, and Bette but, Midler together. Yeah, well, Bette, you know, yeah, but Woody particularly in that because he didn't do other people's scripts. But, right, you know, Bette did did that. Bette, I'm wondering how those two got along. Uh, okay, uh, okay, but the thing about about uh, Woody is that the movie didn't really work because. You know, it's about a married couple who had affairs but try to get it together again. Right. But you can never believe that Woody would really ever have the hots for Bet, Because right. Bet, Bet was sort of like, you know, his Aunt Flo from Brooklyn. Especially when you saw who he was banging in his trailer. Well, we didn't know that. We didn't know <laughs> that. Didn't know that. that. That's didn't extra know that. knowledge. But but right. you did know he was with Mia Farrow. You knew he was with Diane Keaton. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And so, it, it, you know, it, it didn't make it work. He wasn't the first. He wasn't what we really wanted when we wrote the movie. Really? And that was Disney's kind of 
ego choice for us and for Mazursky and me. What happened was we had originally, yeah, we had originally wanted to do it somewhat more straight. The script was a little more straight, right? And, and we wanted, you know, a, a a more straight leading man. Well, what did Woody Allen in the movie? Because I think I've only seen bits and pieces of it. I never, I don't think I actually saw the entire movie. I remember him dragging around a surfboard through a mall. Right, yeah, what yeah. What mall did you shoot that in, by the way? Uh, two different ones, and it's a funny story because they they shot it back east. At, because Woody was so arrogant in those days, it was beyond belief. Uh, he hated L.A. It was really written for the Beverly Center, which was rather newer then. Right. But he didn't want to come out here and shoot it in the Beverly Center. So they had to build a set of a similar to the Beverly Center in Astoria, Queens. Across really? the fortune, yeah. On a, st- a sound stage. Wow. And so you go in there and you say, oh, I'm in the Beverly Center. Why didn't they shoot this in right. the Beverly Center? But because it looked like didn't I, want to come out here. Yeah, what an arrogant. Anyway, but then he, then, um, he did come out for three days. He deigned to come out for three days, and they shot three days of exteriors in the is, Hollywood Hills, which was their house. Is he not a nice guy in your uh, recollection? No, nah, he's not. Nah, he's not, yeah, nah, nah. Nah. I mean, you know, I shouldn't say that. Because no, you can say that. I can say that. You know, well, that was your see, experience. I mean, it's on the Internet with only 12 million people online. It's, you know, it's quite... No, but I, I, as, a, as, as a guy who runs an Internet company, which I do now, yeah. I know that every... Pajamas media. Yeah, every damn thing you say uh, it gets well, how about ricochets this? into the universe. But how about this? Um, because I run into this a fair amount. Um, can't you at least give your experience with the person? You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah. Where you don't go, Woody Allen is a bad person. You go, I've only had one interaction with Woody Allen. That was it, it. was this movie, yeah. and he was a douchebag. I don't know if he's a douchebag when he gets home. Yeah. I don't know if karmically he's a douchebag. I don't know how he treats his neighbors right. and his friends. For my interaction with him, this is who he was. I'll tell you another interesting thing about my interaction with him. Which was he never cracked a joke, never. I mean, and, and never socialized on a relaxed way with members of the crew. Now, yeah. I, now I've dealt with a lot of movie stars in my life, or a, a number. And, you know, a lot of them are arrogant pricks because we know this. On the yeah. other hand, most of them joke around with the crew, or you know, try to be. He never tried that. Yeah, I, you, you will find. I find, but you can tell me what your experience is. I find that most guys. Most of the actors try to joke it up with the crew and sort of feel like they're regular people with the crew. And then sometimes they'll be dicky to the producers or to the suits, in other words. But when it comes to the guys working the camera, even at the level I'm at, I feel compelled to be a regular guy in front of the regular guys. And then when the producers come around, you can be a douchebag. Absolutely, except, you know, um, there was one, only, I, most people want to be with the working people, they want to be a nice guy. There was right. only one person I ever worked with who wasn't like that, who was terrible to the working people. And believe it or not, it was Cecily Tyson, the actress. I believe it. She was like a bitch to everybody. Oh. Unbelievable. That, that on, Including uh, to me, she fired me. So really? I, yeah. But I got Cicely, rehired. The, on uh, on uh, Bustin', Bustin' Loose, the Richard Bustin Pryor Lose. movie? It, yeah. Pryor was great to people. Pryor mm-hmm. was an unbelievably great guy. Well, Crazy he, as he a was kid. high as a kite. I mean, to be totally honest. high as a kite. But when he was high, he was still nice to you.